Hey guys, it's Casey Cole Corbin with Dynamic Fluid Art Teaching Coaching Business, and uh, really glad that you're here today. I have uh, come on just a few minutes early, one or two minutes early, to be able to um, allow some people to come in and join us. So while we're doing that, what I'd love for you to do is to please comment where you're from, where where do you live, and then um, also out of those five things that uh, we're going to talk about today, real real quickly. Um, which one of those was of most interest to you? And so you can just use the number if you want to or identify it by part of the subject. But go ahead and, and tell me um, which of those was the, the hook for you, <laughs> if you will, okay? Hey, Anna, how are you doing? All right, glad that you're here. So, Anna, where are you from? Please um, put that into the, the chat box, if you will. Um, this is, uh, again, we're here just a few minutes early setting up. I'm really excited to share these things for you. If you have not yet, uh, you have probably just enough time to be able to download this five-page PDF that um, also have it as a Word document that is available on this very same group. And so you can go to the Files tab and find it there, or you can just kind of scroll down because it's also just one of the posts. So, And then Lindsay, how are you doing? All right. Glad you're here, Lindsay. And uh, Joe, all right, glad that you guys are here. Excited to be able to share some of these things with you, and I'm going to try really hard to do it in uh, 15 minutes. I did do a practice run, and it was 18 minutes, so <laughs> bear with me a little bit. <laughs> and then and that was, you know, by myself, so the dynamic of having other people um, like Joyous King that just joined us here, and my good friend Brenda Johns. Hey, Brenda. All right, who's in um, our uh, teachers group, which is a uh, paid community. And so, and hey, Joe, uh, very nice to see you there. So, this kind of interaction is probably going to stretch it out just a few minutes, but I'm going to try really hard to be in and out in that 15 minutes, okay? So if you are just now joining us, I'd really love for you to do two things is to comment where you're from, and then you also might want to get this download that's also in this special group. This is a, a special group that I just created for this event and for something that we're going to be doing next week that I'll tell you about in just a second, and then the group will dissolve. It will go away. Um, so just a temporary thing. So I'm really glad that you guys are here. All right. Um, the replay of this will be available for um, 24 hours, and so feel free to rewatch it. Um, you can also um, send. Um, please don't share the group address with people because they need to go through the same, jump through the same hoops that you did. They and they need to have the. Um, and I'll post it on the end of this link here too. But you've used it yourself to be able to uh, get the email address and then also the permission to be able to send a Facebook uh, private message. You have to check that box. And then um, that allows us to communicate not only about this free webinar, but also some cool things that I have planned for you in um, the next week. So we'll talk about that in just a second. All right. I just bumped an odd button on my computer. Let me... Uh, See who else has joined us here. Okay, great. All right, so let's get started. This is the, um, uh, you can follow along on your handout. Who here has already downloaded the handout? That would be great for you to comment uh, in there. You can also, of course, get it later. Some of it's going to be kind of word for word from what I'm sharing, and some of it has some questions. It also has some active links on it, so um, you don't necessarily have to print it, but if you pull it up in another file, it'll be there for you. So I've got two minutes after three, our start time, so let's dive in. And let's talk about, um, I do want you to comment and then also comment towards the end. And that will kind of prove that you were here watching the whole thing. And that'll make you a candidate for the prizes that we're going to give, which is the um, my absolute favorite uh, art supply. And so I want, to sh I want to share that with you. So what we're, what we're going to be talking about today is the five essentials of highly successful artists and art teachers. And... Um, if you uh, have been on my What's Selling group, um, which now has uh, 7,500 people on it, and my, or my teacher's group, which now has 3,500 people on it, so I guess that's really, I, I thought it was 10,000, but it's really 11,000 people in those two groups, then you've heard my story. So I'm going to keep it real short, is that uh, right before Christmas of 2017, I was fired from a job that I had for very many years. 
And I had to turn my little side hustle of doing the, this odd teaching of flow art and I had to scale it up really quickly and to be able to full time income to support myself and my family. And so I needed some help. So I started these groups and the founding members of these groups were great. Um, I didn't have to reinvent the wheel. I learned so much from them. And then for the last year and a half now, I have been coaching other people and doing teaching of flow art. So. Um, here's what we're going to overview today. These these five parts, which are um, one is how to stand out and seriously establish yourself as a selling artist. Number two is the three tactics of how to make more than a thousand dollars teaching a flow art in a half hour half day workshop. Number three is smart strategies to develop a pricing structure that reaches new students and maximizes your profits. Four is how to supercharge your social media efforts and to book out your classes. And number five is what nobody tells you about how to get sponsored by um, art companies um, to be able to get free paint and free pouring medium and other things. And so if you haven't already, go ahead and comment uh, which of those five topics brought you here today? Which one was the most important to you? And I got some really exciting news for you. Next week, I'm going to do a uh, uh, every day, Monday through Friday, I'm going to hunker down and do a deep dive in each one of these topics. And so I want, I'll tell you how you can attend those, and they're going to be free. You can attend that just like today is free as well, too. And, uh, and if you can't attend them at the time, which will be at 3 o'clock each one of those days, Eastern Standard Time, don't worry about it, because they will be available for replay for um, a week, and then they'll come off. And so in your handout, it actually says the exact date of when they're going to come off. So. All right, so we're going to do basically an overview. It's going to have some real good value for you um, if this is the only thing that you attend. But next week, we'll be able to spend like 45 minutes, maybe an hour, including Q&A on each one of these topics sep separately. So you'll want to watch all of those. So number one, let's, let's dive in. Um, how to stand out and seriously establish yourself as a selling artist. Now, the Wet Selling Group you know, has over 7,000 people on it. And what I've learned from them is, uh, first of all, discouraging is that the acrylic paint pouring fluid flow art does for about 90 percent of the people that are selling their art it sells for very little and it sells pretty slowly it's not really encouraging but there is this upper 10 percent of people that are selling their art and they're getting 10 to 20 times more than what the other people are getting for now how are they doing that and there's many factors there's some questions for you to consider on the handout the first question is is their work craft or is it art? And are you operating as a hobbyist? Or are you operating as an artist? And how are you marketing? And also, how are you establishing yourself as an artist that has authority and that investors want to invest in by buying your art? Now, here's my little secret to instantly get artist cred. <laughs> teach. If you teach this art, um, you will want from before I taught, I just focused on selling art to teaching and putting a lot of my energy into teaching and then also doing art, I sell a lot more art now that I teach. The art world just kind of sets up and takes notice. They're aware of who's teaching and where they're teaching it, and so you get some uh, good reputation. It builds your reputation as a flow artist or the go-to person in your area, and so I get calls locally and from all over the world um, asking me questions about um, flow art, known as the go-to guy. And so this uh, makes you an expert. One of the best definitions of an expert I've ever heard is that you know something that somebody else doesn't know, a little bit more, just a little bit more, and you're an expert. So we're going to spend um, you know, an entire uh, webinar, uh, about probably about an hour in duration, next Monday on uh, April 29th at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So we've got to move along. So I'm sorry. I know that there's probably uh, more questions that you have. And feel free to ask them in the chat. I will answer them after the call because I'm trying to get in and out in about 15, 20 minutes. So number two is, is the three tactics of how to make more than $1,000 teaching flow art in a half day workshop. Let me first start by asking you, have you considered teaching yet? You learn this and have, you may not even dawned on you yet that you can teach this. And I believe it, you really can. What, what I need you to do is really listen. Don't just listen to me right now, but also listen to the voices around you. Listen to the people that you show your art to. And have you noticed what they're saying? I know that you've heard this. They've said, how did you do that? 
but you got to listen harder because they're really not asking that. What they're really asking is, how can I do that? And can you teach me? Will you help me? Think about the passion that you have for acrylic paint pouring. And you're not alone in that. The interest that you develop, other people have that interest too. A great number of people. We're, on, we're not even to the top of this trend yet. People around you want to know and you can show them. Again, if you know a little bit more than somebody else, you are the expert. And no matter where you are in this whole process, if you feel like, oh, I'm kind of new, I've only been doing it for a couple of weeks. Well, do you know how to mix? Do you know how to swipe? And do you know how to do a dirty pour? Well, you've got all it takes to do a really great first workshop that you could do and also get um, these students returning back to you. Returning students are the core of my business. Yeah. So how do you get into good venues? Keep this in mind. Go after the list, not the location. Go to places like art centers, museums, upper end clubs and organizations that have thousands of people on their mailing list, on their email list, on their newsletter list. That's what you want. You want to go after their list. Don't worry about the location, right? It's great that I teach at Art Center and, in, and it, Art Center's and it's got sinks and I can let my stuff dry there for a couple of days and students can pick it up and they can host all that. That's wonderful. But the main thing is the marketing. They have the list. Um, Art Center locally here have 6,000 people on their list. They're marketing to them. You know, I don't have to do that. And so that's the key. Um, but you're kind of borrowing their list. They're not going to give you their list. But when you when they come to your classes, you have them sign in and give you their information. The key to that is email. Um, and now you have de now you're developing your own list, and now they're yours. And so now this is where you get that returning client, that returning uh, student. Remember, it's not what you know, it's who you know. We've all heard that. But never has it been more true than what we're doing now in building your business as a flow art teacher. These are what we call connectors. These people called connectors make you connections. And if you don't think you know any connectors yet, that's okay, I didn't either. And I remember I started small and grew. The first, very first class that I taught doing fluid art, and now I do this full time, is there's only three students present and we all went to lunch together. And as we were talking, one of the students that was very, very, they became a raving fan of my classes, was real good friends with the art director at an art museum in a nearby town. She sent a text during our lunch, hooked me up. A little while later, I was teaching an art class there. And instead of three people there, it was booked out. And I actually walked in the door and she handed me the check because I'd already collected the money for $1,048 for doing a four hour workshop. Not bad, right? Okay, and so I've been able to do that routinely and repeatedly. All right, now more on that on Tuesday the 30th, again, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Number three is smart strategies to develop a pricing structure that reaches new students and maximizes profits. How you price is important. No matter what your choice, it's gonna exclude someone. Low income people will tell themselves they can't afford it and high income people will tell themselves that they don't want to go unless it's a high enough quality and that quality is displayed to them as a higher price. So either way it excludes unless you use something that I call a three tiered marketing approach to be able to reach everyone. Now always be open to connectors connecting you to new markets, new venues and also new influencers. And so influencers are people that influence people like them. And so they will bridge you into a new demographic of students that you could never reach on your own. Now to grow your business, you're going to need to expand your followers and the types of students that um, are there, the different types of students, different people groups. Okay. And so there's lots of ideas about doing this, but one that's a real great one is fundraisers you doing a class as a fundraiser for different organizations, schools, clubs, charities, churches, etc. It's not only fun for them, but they can also raise money uh, for their cause. And you're presenting to a brand new audience. And as they sign in, now they're coming on your list. These are a, a list of people that you own. All right. Your uh, prep work is to structure a fundraising proposal or package that proves to them that they can make a substantial profit by doing this venture. So they host the location, you're using their list, and again, you're getting access to another list. Now, there's a lot more that we could say about that, and we will next Wednesday on uh, May, April, May, <laughs> May the 1st at uh, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. All right, number four is supercharge your social media efforts to book out your classes. 
Now, traditional business marketing like newspaper, TV, and radio, it's not quite dead, but almost. All right, so redirect your marketing efforts into a digital or a social media area. But how do you do that? Organic reach. Organic reach is a lot more effective than paid ads. Uh, a paid ad basically forces their ad in front of people's faces, and uh, organic is so much better because it is driving your customer to seek you out because they're interested, because they desire what you have to offer. Much more powerful. There are many paths in order to do this, and there's a list of suggestions that's on the handout. In brief, um, you can post fun and human interest postings that are both related to you, your flow art and teaching and not related to your flow art and teaching. Um, you can get uh, make short videos and do lives um, like this one. Uh, getting testimonies to your students that talk about the unexpected benefits that they've gotten from doing your art classes like stress relief, right? Share the joy of gaining a new hobby or interest. Um, start a group off of your business page. So if you haven't started a business Facebook business page for your teaching business yet, that's step number one and you can do it in five minutes. Then you can also do a group that is connected to that uh, to your business page and that would be for like your students to be able to build a community there and there you can go in and throw in helpful hints and that you just tried this new varnish and it's really successful or something that you tried and you didn't like and you can just help them out by throwing that into that group good giving them valuable content all the time keeping them engaged now later you can consider understanding and testing facebook ads and boosts um, there's a productive way to do that, but there's also a way that you can lose a whole lot of money. <laughs> Ask me how I know. All right. So more on that will be Thursday on May the 2nd, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The last of the five that we want to talk about today, drum roll please, what a lot of people have been interested in, is what nobody tells you about how to get sponsored so that you can get free paint and other supplies. You may have heard about these lucky few people that have been discovered, and now they get all the paint that they want for free and maybe even disqualified yourself thinking that that would never happen to you. And I'll tell you that I thought this way too. Then I got courageous and I filled out the application and guess what? I got sponsored. Uh, it is wonderful. I, I have not bought an ounce of paint, a pouring medium, and several other products in over a year now. It has literally added thousands and thousands of dollars to my profit margin. Um, and as a side benefit is because I have free access to all these, I've ordered some cool products that I never would have gotten on my own. And I've experimented with them and played with them, something like interference, metallic lusters, enamels, even stencils and textured mediums, etc. And I've been able to add that to my classes and now I'm a more valuable teacher and my students are having exposure to more stuff. So, you know, I might literally carry in $2,000 worth of products to my classes, and that shows. They, they appreciate that. Um, it's helpful to understand what the art supply company is looking for and then give it to them. Mostly, they want two things. One is, is that it helps if you're a social influencer, if you have a presence on social media platforms and a number of followers. It also is they want you to teach to um, unique students. And so if you teach the same class once a month to the same 12 people, um, you know, in your community, they're not going to be interested. <laughs> they want to expose it to lots of people. And so you've got to structure how you do your work and then how you present and how you apply for that. And remember to just over uh, under promise and over deliver. And one way that I do that is, is that I'm sponsored by DecoArt. So I've got DecoArt products and pictures. I got it, you know, well-placed product placement <laughs> into my pictures. I'm posting all over the place with these things and I am tagging DecoArt in so that they know, right? And so you become, you do it that way, you become one of their favorites and you get um, whatever you want. So, <laughs> all right, so more on that one and all the into's and how's out will be next Friday, not this Friday, but next Friday, May the 3rd, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. By the way, at the end of each one of these, we're gonna have lots of time for live Q&A. And so I'll read through, one have time today, but read through all the chats and be able to answer uh, the majority of those interactively live. All right, so we've got five days next week. We're going to do all five of these topics um, and go in and spend 45 minutes to an hour on each one. So I know this has been brief and we haven't hit everything. We've got plenty of value in there for you that you can take and run with, but there's a whole lot more that we can offer you. And so what's the action here? What's the action step? 
if you want to participate in this next week, then great. You're already in the group. You basically just need to stay in the group, schedule your time to be able to be there live, and then pay attention to the emails that I'm going to send you, and they're going to have some great stuff inside of it. If you don't want to, leave the group and ignore the uh, emails, and uh, no, no hard feelings, okay? All right, we are working very hard to offer you fluid artists um, some valuable products for you, including we have done a survey on the What's Selling group, and we're getting some great feedback from uh, very specific stuff, sometimes surprising stuff of what you're looking for. And so we're developing and preparing things to be able to give to you what you're looking for. So if you haven't completed that yet, there's a link in the handout. Go there. That um, survey is going to come, is only going to be online until the 30th, and then it comes offline. And so this is uh, at the end. And so what I want to do is I want to do a uh, pick for the winner. So I'm going to go use my software. Excuse me while I scroll around. And see who's live. Okay. Sorry, trying to figure this out. Get to the right tab. And I got a choose winner button here. And the choose winner is Heather Jensen. So Heather Jensen, are you on here? If you are on here, then please um, say, that's me, that's me, that's me. And put it into the, uh, the context. So <laughs> if you have been here. Now what I'll do is, is that um, if, uh, if Heather's not here, then what I'll do is I'll pick from the list of people that I have noticed is uh and i'll do, do it randomly what i normally do there is just ask uh, siri you know if there's uh 20 people on and then i'll say okay um siri pick from a number between one and 20 and and we'll go with there and then i'll contact you and i'll ask you to send me your mailing address and i'll mail you those free art supplies okay well uh this has been a whole lot of fun and let's see we're at just 19 minutes so that's not too bad okay so i tried to do 15 practice at 18 told you it might be 20 so here we are at 19. So stay on the group, pay attention to the emails. I look forward to next week being able to hit these five topics a lot more. And then I'm just gonna, if you answered, if you asked any questions now or um, later or in a replay version of this, then I will answer those in the chat. Also, if you do me a huge favor is if you would please spread the news. And so I'd love for you to share the same, um, and I'll post it in here again, the very same uh, link that you went through. Please don't share a, don't go up to your address bar and copy and paste it and send it to somebody because that'll add a whole lot of confusion. Um, I'll, I'll need everybody to go through the same app that you did to get here. And that's a benefit to you, okay? So that allows me to be able to email, communicate with you better. I mean, you came here because you wanted information. This is the way that I can give you information. Uh, better so I'll email you and also send private messages through um, Facebook particularly every night next or every uh, day next week three o'clock whenever we are about to go live and just kind of help you remember that okay so it's a benefit to you please help please share that um, share it on all the pouring groups share it to individually to friends um, that would help me out a lot so I want to thank everybody for joining me I'm going to have, go ahead and close on here while it's, my clock still says 19 minutes and before it crosses over into 20 minutes and thanks so much for joining me this is Casey Gold Corbin with Dynamic Fluid Art Coaching